the LFTPS looking for this production studio. My name is Lanise. I am here for Malaysia's betting event. She has uh, launched uh, her betting line and, and, and crossed over into being a designer for interior design. And I'm very proud of her, so I came out to support. What a lovely friend you are, and you are looking very lovely tonight, might I add. Thank you, it's all due to this gentleman right here. Listen, I'd be in jeans and a t-shirt, but he's like, bitch, no. Hell you can't no. do it like that. <laughs> Not going to happen on tonight. <laughs> and tell everyone who you are. My name is Udi. I'm from Style by Udi Design. And we're just here just to give the people some life. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? And you, you both are giving it. Them shades. Yes. Go, Go ahead. We are feeling it. We're just trying to share some life in the world. That's all. Nice. So Tammy, are you also joining this cast of... Well, you know, the thing for me is uh, Basketball Wives is on hiatus and, you know, the, the people have been wanting to see, you know, myself, Evelyn, and Shawnee back on TV. And, it's you know, it's like we can't leave them wanting more, so to speak. You know, I'm concentrating a lot on my acting as well as my own show and my radio show, but when they asked me to be a part of this situation, I said, let me get back in there because people are familiar with me from Basketball Wise. Yay! Yeah. They've been looking for you. Yay! So everybody, she's back. <laughs> okay, so what, what can we expect? What, what, what are we gonna get little peeks of into your, into your life, into your fabulous life on this season? As it uh, pertains to Basketball Wives, you know, I'm just here to get to know the ladies. Um, people associate me with being 100% real. I'm completely transparent at all times. So I think that that's what their particular um, version of Basketball Wives is missing, was somebody to just come in and give the real. So I'm here to just talk to the girls, get to know them, and find out what's really going on. Get all the tea. <laughs> so there's a lot of girls. So I'm trying to figure out who are you going to be best friends with and who are you going to clash with? Um, you know what? I don't use the term friends lightly, so I don't necessarily know that I'll be best friends with anybody. Um, my main focus here is to just get to know everybody, um, bring the Tammy to the cast, you know, just finding out what's going on and help them hopefully be 100 with each other. You know, I'm not here to start drama, I'm not here to cause any problems. It's just here to get them to be able to relate to each other and kind of incorporate some of what we did on our installment in Miami. You know, we could have issues, but we can always talk about those things as well. You ain't have no issues. I didn't say we didn't have issues on Miami. <laughs> that is not what I had That's said. not what I recall. <laughs> what I had said was we have issues, but we're able to talk about them and get through them. And I think that there, um, the L.A. installment was missing that person that could kind of help navigate them through some of their issues. Okay, so I'm wondering because I, I hear what you're saying, but I know that somebody has been known for kind of being the bully on there, Jackie. And I'm just, I'm just wondering, y'all two strong personalities. I don't really... <laughs> well, you know what? I think that after you 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 um, cross the age of 18, bully isn't proper. The <laughs> isn't really the proper term. I think that as adults, everybody has the opportunity to stand up for themselves and speak their mind and and you know stand for something or either fall for anything. And, you know, and I think that with Jackie, she's kind of been a very poignant personality on this particular installment, as I have been on mine. I'm just here yet again to make sure the girls understand that you can have differences, you can agree to disagree, but we're all grown, we're all over 18, nobody's bullying anybody. Um, I hate that term in the context of grown women. You know, we're disagreeing and now we've gotta to get to a point where we learn how to agree to disagree. 
Right, right, right. Okay, I appreciate you taking the time. I have one last question for you. I don't know if you had a chance to pick out a favorite betting collection. Yes, I did, actually. I am, you know, I have a young dude now. He's 17 years younger than me. And I think that we could really get into that fur with that leather trim. Yes, God. <laughs> so, yes, you know, God. I am always here for my free. So, uh, you know, like Queen Latifah said in Bring It Down the House, I am here for my motherfucking free. Um, so if Malaysia wants to send that to me, I'd greatly appreciate it. But I am supportive of her and her venture. So I will go online and look at the website and see what I can order uh, if I can't get my free. But um, I do need a king uh, comforter and four pillowcases and the fitted and the flat sheet. So Malaysia, just take note of that Don't and send me whatever skirt. it is you like. And the bed skirt, yes. Because I heard that the comforters were starting at 300. Yes, I don't have that budget. I am a target. <laughs> I am a target Walmart friendly shopper. What's wrong with some home goods? You know what I'm saying? I just, you know, I keeps it real. I love me some target. So I'm hoping that as she moves forward, you know, I would love to see her in Bed Bath & Beyond. I would love to see her in Target. She may need to lower that price point for the 100% real people in America. But, you know, $59.99 for a king, $69.99, that might work. You know, but the fur joint, I might venture up to $119.99. Take that tea, because I'm giving you your price points.